Young Goth, so this is going to be kind of a weird video. If you thought Cake Trunks was the ultimate Klingon to XXX Tentacion, well you should hear about Little Peep's very own Klingon. Only he's much, much, much worse. Young Goth is a little known character in the underground rap scene, often seen around big names like Lil Peep and Lil Tracy, however his story often goes untold and I think there is a good reason for that. In fact, I think that might actually be intentional because it gets really dark. Goth's actions have been an open secret online for the past couple years but have gone unaddressed and often censored. So I thought I'd come here today, show you the info I found, bring light to the situation, and let you make your own decisions. So without further ado, let's get into it. Allegedly. There's probably going to be a couple people watching this video who really Really don't like the message so everything here is alleged 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 okay let's get into it Louis Venegas was born December 26 1995 in LA he's thought to be from California but from what we know he moved around the country a lot during his life he began making music on SoundCloud in 2015 dropping his first EP teen spirit at the start of the year soon after that Lil Peep became aware of his music through SoundCloud and the two began creating music and talking online they dropped their first track on the floor in late 2015 a song that would appear on Goss dead with you EP as well as collaborating on a song together for Peep's mixtape, Live Forever, with their song, Pick Me Up. Goth would also drop his own song, I Don't Know How to Kill Myself, the same year, alongside a music video on Asteria, and that is a song name, YouTube. Please do not demonetize me for that. Or do, I don't care because I'm here for the fans. Peep is actually on record multiple times saying he loved the song and started every morning by listening to it. There's even footage of him listening to the song a few days before his unfortunate passing. This shows that Peep had love for young Goth even all the way to his passing. And who can really blame him? It's actually a pretty good song. In 2016, Peep would visit Denver for the first time, meeting Young Goth and It's Okay to Cry in person, joining Schema Posse and forming a digital designer group called SFCB, which stands for Silver Fox Charm Babies, who were responsible for some of Peep's early cover arts for songs like Gym Class, In Your Eyes, and the infamous Little Poop Freestyle. And they're even responsible for creating the Switch Up music video where Young Goth can actually be seen in the background. They ended up doing a couple pop-up shows in the area alongside the rest of Schema Posse, but it's uncertain if Young Goth and It's Okay to Cry were ever really part to Schema Posse, I'm not sure if they were, but they may have been. It's okay to cry and Peep would drop a project called Dead Broke with two features from Young Goth called 16 Swishers and Walk. March of 2016, the Switch Up music video would drop and then they would all appear in an interview on an underground rap outlet. And this is actually Peep's first ever interview. They would also create their track Cocaine Shorty around the same time. Eventually, It's okay to cry and Young Goth would have a falling out for unknown reasons. It's speculated it might have been over stolen clothes, but who can really say? This led Peep and Goth to leave the house they were staying at and move to Skid Row. This is where Ski Mask would come to stay with them overnight. It turns out that Young Goth was actually the one responsible for stealing Ski's clothes, sparking off the whole beef that he had with Pete. I really don't know what it is with this guy and stealing clothes, but he seems to have a habit of it. He's also the person that Ski Mask is talking about when he says that Pete was supposedly humping his homie. Tell him how y'all hump each other. Tell him how y'all hump each other and say y'all playing. Tell him how y'all, tell him how y'all sniff ketamine. Tell him how y'all sniff ketamine and do heroin. Which probably isn't true because Ski was just saying anything he could to get under their skin at the time. Goth and Peep were such good friends, they actually lived with each other on four different occasions. Owning a house in Denver, living together on Skid Row, owning an apartment together in Echo Park, and a short time living together in the UK. While on Skid Row, the two began indulging heavily in drugs, going on a month-long bender and creating music together. This is when they created their song, Coke. Some would even speculate that Peep and Goth were more than friends, but there's not a whole lot of evidence to point to that besides a stuffed unicorn that Peep sent Goth with his name printed on it. But honestly, who doesn't send their homies stuffed unicorns from time to time? By 2017, Peep couldn't stand to live in LA with the Goth boy click anymore, so he chose to fly out to the UK to stay with Bexy. He would also bring Goth along with him for the trip, creating their final track together while they were on a bender called Lick. The song went unreleased at the time, but they would create one more track during Peep's life called Crying. After Peep's passing, Goth would appear on a live stream extremely distraught under the influence of drugs and destroying TV which apparently was quite the trend for him. However, at the time, many fans felt his pain and saw their own frustrations surrounding Peep's passing present in him, so that led him to gain a lot more support. After the passing of Peep, there was a huge fallout surrounding stolen clothes of all things, for fuck's sakes. A lot of blame was placed on the friends of Peep for his passing. However, Goth seemed to be totally free from these criticisms, being seen as one of Peep's true friends, held in the same regard as Lil Tracy. But what was unknown to fans at the time is there was a much darker side to Goth that was beginning to surface, with multiple fans accusing him of allegedly 
grooming. And I'm not talking about grooming his dog. All of these separate allegations were gathered up and posted on Twitter by a fan who goes by the name Fenig, with victims as young as 14 coming out against them. There was also allegations of him asking 17 year olds for nudes, attempting to have threesomes with two other 17 year olds, and some leaked DMs showing him being thirsty. So I'll show a couple of them here and read them out I guess. If you think that's bad, she was fucking around with Redacted, and she's 15. She posted on her personal about how confusing he was and he'd unfollow her and refollow her and would say things like thank you for being there for me when no one else was. What the fuck, I know this guy, he tried to get with my friend, she's 17, we didn't know he was like in his 20s. He banged my friend, she's 16 and he wouldn't stop asking her for nudes. We have some actual DMs from him where he says nah fuck it I need you in my life and then we have some emojis, he said I never felt this way about someone before and then he said how come you don't want to see me, now I'm mad. And then we have another one where he says literally I'm going crazy knowing that the girl of my dreams is close to me but never around and then she says I'm the girl of your dreams and he said yeah. She says he's really persistent, I'm 17, he even showed up to Lakma when I went with my friends, he somehow knew my location. When things got weird I stopped talking to him. And then I'll just show you the rest of them because I don't want to read all of these out. Now could these screenshots be faked? Definitely. Is all of this alleged? Definitely. But it kind of is weird how 20 girls came out against him around the exact same time and it's not like he's somebody who has a lot of clout like Tokyo's Revenge, he's really a nobody in the grand scheme of things so what incentive would all these girls have to come out against him? But I'm not the judge, jury, and executioner here, so once again, this is alleged, and uh, let's just move on. Eventually, enough people found out about this that it got his Twitter suspended, as well as former collaborators starting to come out against him, with several members of Goth Boy Click like Fishnark, Wickaphase, and Coldheart coming out, as well as a rapper known as Lil Aaron. You would think all of this would have got him scrubbed from Peep's legacy and removed from the internet completely, but somehow he continued, much to the fans' dismay. They would even start a petition to get him locked up. All of this was fairly common knowledge, often spoken about on the Peep subreddit but once Lisa, Peep's mom, became active on the sub, almost all of it was scrubbed clean, which shows there was almost a conscious effort to cover up these allegations. And no, I'm not blaming Lisa. I don't think by any means she was the one who wanted these removed. I just think people on the sub were kind of trying to be delicate around her and ended up removing everything that had to do with the unsavory rumors. After everything was scrubbed, Goth was able to move on and began dating a woman known as Elise, even stealing a piece of her artwork he used for one of his mixtapes. This guy is just an all-around upstanding gentleman, I have to say. But for the most part, Elise Goth was forgotten and people would move on, until 2021 when he would drop his Friends EP, with three collaborations between Goth and Peep. Many fans thought this was extremely weird, because Liza actually owned Peep's music at this point. This wasn't a cheap cash in from a label trying to make a buck off a passed away artist, and she had actually blocked other songs from artists she didn't like in the past, but for some reason, she let this release. I just want to say I don't really care that this released, because at the end of the day, it is just music, and young Goth's weird reputation shouldn't be able to stop fans from hearing unreal released peep music, but I just want to say it is kind of a double standard because other songs have been blocked in the past and other people were upset about this. Fans began to come out against this on the peep subreddit, only to see their comments deleted. It turns out the moderators of the peep subreddit would delete most posts speaking on Young Goth, even to this day. This is for fear that Lisa will leave. They still are afraid that even after all these years, she's actually going to end up leaving the reddit. You know, I definitely understand why she wanted to put this out because she just wants to hear her son's music heard by all of his fans without any drama surrounding the situation, but what I do find weird is people who actually want to defend Goth. These are some of the same people who have harassed other friends of Peep, but yet when it comes to this weirdo, they don't say anything. I'm not saying he needs to be harassed, I definitely don't think he should, and it's all alleged, but you know, it's just kind of weird. Either way, I don't think Young Goth has much of a career left because many people already know about these allegations, and every time he tries to go to a show, he ends up getting beat up because people just don't fuck with him to that level. Just before I end this off, I just want to say to Peep fans who feel the need to defend this guy, you don't have to. He in no way represents Peep in any way. This just happened to be a friend that he had and I'm 100% sure that Peep had no idea any of this was happening behind the scenes. Goth is his own man, he made his own choices, and Peep's legacy isn't any more tainted because of him. Goofy people and cornballs can do everything they can to try to tear down the legacy but it's not going to make a difference because at the end of the day these people passed when they did and the influence they made on music is not going to be taken away by some clout chasers. Yeah, don't see this as a video that's trying to go against Peep or anything like that or try to tear down anything that he's built because I'm definitely not trying to do that. This is just a video on Young Goth, someone who just happened to be friends with Lil Peep. And with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watched to the end, leave a knife emoji in the comments below and definitely give me your opinion on this situation because I want to hear both sides of it if I can. And hopefully this video is allowed to stay up, but I guess we're going to see. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, da da da. You know how it is. Uh, join my Discord server, follow me on Instagram, and most of all, thank you guys for watching. Allegedly.